Okay. Okay, these are instructions on how to close the awning. First thing we got to do is bring these arms, these top arms, we got to get them on both sides to slide in. Okay? So how you do that is you got to loosen this knob to the left, turning it counterclockwise. And then I got to slide that top piece of the arm all the way down to it stops about where this handle is. Now it's a little little tricky. You got to make sure that you get this arm, the little piece of aluminum has to slide in the track. It's just like a train track kind of thing. It's got to slide in this track perfectly starting up top. Here. Make sure this is pulled out of the way here and slide it all the way down until it gets to this handle. Okay, we're going to go do the same to the other side. We're going to loosen this knob, turning it counterclockwise. And then we're going to slide this top arm down the track. And you got you got to make sure that you get both sides in. And I can see I don't have both sides in. And what happens sometimes? This is not going to work. It's all got jammed up in there. Are you still recording? Yeah. Okay. Is this I don't think. I need. Okay. So you got to make sure it's not easy to do. Hopefully, you won't have that problem. You just got to make sure that the, the the little piece of aluminum here goes inside both of these little tracks. What was happening was the one side was lifting out, and I really had to wiggle it down so that it will start in these tracks. Okay. Not rarely I have that problem that I just have, so I slide it all the way down. Then I'm going to lower the arm, pulling up this handle, and letting the arm come down. And once I got it down, it's, there's a bolt down there that's stopping it. I make sure to give it a good tug here because it's got to kind of lock in place. There's a little pin in this handle. It has to, the pin has to pop through one of those holes. And I, particularly on the back side, it, it doesn't always go in, so I jiggle it. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Pulling the handle, pulling this handle, making this go down, hits the bolt, letting the handle go, pushing it in, and then giving this a tug. Okay? So now we've got both arms extended all the way down, and these cross arms are all the way down to the bolt. The awning is ready to close. We're going to hold the strap. It's nice if you do this with two people. Hold the strap, make sure it's tight. Pull this lever up here. Pull it down towards this way. So I'm gonna give it, you have to pull it pretty hard. And when you pull it, you can see this lever, this whole lever goes down and the orange uh, marker here goes away from down here. So I just, then I slowly release this up. And making sure you don't let it go because it'll slam really hard into the motor. Now when it gets to about here, I stop. So this is probably as high as you can reach. It looks like it's about a foot off. What I do now is I just let it go. So I then close these safety arms, these safety latches here. There's one on, on both sides. This has got to close me down. And then I'm turning the knob to tighten it up. And I do the same to the other way. The other side, sorry. There's this safety latch here. It's got to be turned down. So this here has got to be down. And then the knob on the back side, I'm turning it upwards, snugging it up. And now that awning is ready to go. Sometimes when you close this, the, ar the inside arm doesn't go inside this arm and you might have to give it a bang in here because it might not have closed all the way when we let it go. Quite often this arm does not close all the way and you might, you might have to give it a, a bang so the arm fits inside this arm, then you'll be able to close this, okay? Now the other thing that you got to do, watch for is you, you have to close this awning if a big storm is coming up or wind because it will rip the awning right off the motorhome. So remember, 
if it is bad weather, this has to be closed, okay?